Rat. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, did I get aim assist there? This thing is bananas. Oh, that's a mangler. Let's see how the, the thing does on a mangler. Not too bad. Again, this is blue. It does have auto. It has aim assist for mouse and keyboard. That's weird. This week and last week's weekly challenge had some interesting things. The Jack Mag Left Kit, Mag Left Mag Lift Kit, and the Jack Limb Ripper. What is going on? Okay, anyway, the Limb Ripper is an underbarrel chainsaw that has unlimited ammo, as far as I'm aware. And the Mag Lift Kit gives you a binary trigger and a huge magazine. The binary trigger means when you click down once, it shoots, and then when you let off, it shoots. So you can go absolutely nuts with the fire rate. So I've got a hip fire laser, I've got a long barrel, I've got a choke. And I think a grip that increases recoil control. And ideally, this is going to have some fun. We're going to go into multiplayer. We're going to go into some small maps if my textures will cooperate. And we're going to cause some havoc and see what we can do with these guys. And luckily for me, the Joe Rogan diet is on the menu. Meet 24-7. Let's give that one a shot. Hopefully there's some interesting stuff that happens. Also, hopefully my textures will cooperate. I may have to restart this game. Oh, team deathmatch too. That's good. That means I can just go ham and try and get kills without worrying too much about my team. We're also going to go try this in zombies here in a while just to see how she does. We're starting off with the shotgun. We're going to see what we can do. We've got one class that has both of them in it. Oh, that. Okay. That fire rate is absolutely bananas. Nice guy. I don't think so. Oh, come around that corner. <laughs> it doesn't kill as quick as I would like it to. Obviously, that's kind of fair because if it killed super quick, then... It would just be OP. Oh, I am dog shit. Dude, this is bananas. The amount of fire rate you can squeeze out of this thing is nuts. Oh, there was another one. I wasn't ready for another one. We're going to go in. That is a genius idea to run freaking snapshot grenades in this map. One on three. Not, not quite, brother. Warm up round. Nine and seven. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, get him! You get increase the sprint to fire. That's just the fire rate on this thing because it would be very helpful. Rat. Oh. Oh. Well, well, did I get aim assist there? I'm on mouse and keyboard. I shouldn't. That kind of seemed like an auto lock on him. No, sir. That was weird. Oh, there's the shotgun. Oh, that's a riveter. That, this thing has a faster fire rate than the riveter, which is kind of nutty. Idiot. I still have loads of ammo. Bro, come on. What the fuck is this thing? Do I have aim assist when I'm meleeing with that thing? It seems like I do. That's weird. Damn it. <laughs> Underbarrel chainsaw, not the easiest thing to deal with. I'll tell you what. Okay, underbarrel chainsaw, not good for multiplayer. The shotgun, though. Shotgun's not half bad. I hate riot shielders. If you're just doing it for like... If, geez, okay. If you're doing it for camos and whatnot, I get it. But he's clearly not. He's just not good enough to not die. This thing is bananas. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, and we got a mosquito. Oh, damn. That was well-timed. Since nobody actually wants to play for the hard point right now. Love that. Ooh, yep. I got all the range, brother. Damn, this thing's bananas. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of this thing. 
the underbarrel uh, the underbarrel chainsaw is gonna take a little bit we're gonna have to go to zombies to use that one because it is not good in multiplayer go for the range yes sir <laughs> come on mosquito yeah there we go no sir i was ready for you not bad shotgun pretty good for uh multiplayer the underbarrel chainsaw not good at all 41 and 40 after I started using the shotgun. That underbarrel chainsaw, bad. Also, trying to carry the team on time because nobody else is doing it. Love that. All right, zombie time. Oh, an opportune moment. That's not, that's not too bad at all. Obviously, it's going to do more damage once we get it upgraded and stuff. And I brought in a Ethereum crystal as well as a blue aether tool whatever you want to call it a rare one it's it's the blue one obviously let's click that sucker on and see how she does also this is an infinite damage weapon there is no there's no ammo for it so you can just wander around and hold it out obviously you can't sprint with it which kind of sucks oh and a perfect we're gonna go do the acv escort and see how she does against a large group that's what i really want to know is a large group I also brought in this, which we're going to pack a punch because it doesn't really matter. The sh shotguns are always good in zombies. And this one, the way I've got it set up, has a lot of range and a decent spread. Also, you have 100 and ooh, 120 rounds of ammo once you pack a punch it, which is kind of nutty, which means you can just kind of go nuts with it. Damn, the fire rate's worse in zombies. That's, that's weird if you don't hold down the button. Oh, it's full auto. Interesting. Once you pack a punch it, it becomes full auto. Learning new things. I have not brought this in here yet. I unlocked it last night and then stopped playing. Well, it still has a very good fire rate. It's just full auto and I don't have to click down the button. Oh, that's a mangler. Let's see how the, the thing does on a mangler. Not too bad. Again, this is blue. It does have auto. It has aim assist. For mouse and keyboard that's weird interesting i've never seen that before i'm not obviously it's tracking way better than i could which is kind of strange that's nutty not as good on a horde as i would like we may have to pack a punch it here in a second all right let's pack a punch this sucker and see how she does it doesn't speed it up too much more the, the time to kill is about the same where's that mangler at let's go see what it's like pack a punch on the mangler Oh, brain rotted. I can't tell how we're good. It's just gonna brain rot him. Great, love that. Wow, that tracking is pretty, uh, tracking's pretty good. I'll say, I will say that tracking's pretty good. It does get you quite a lot of damage quite rapidly because, of course, you're right next to the zombies, so it's not great for that. It is not bad on bosses, is what I'm finding out right now. Let's go see how it does against that, like a big enemy, a bounty hunt enemy. They have like a 50% more resistance to all types of damage, I think. That or it just gives them more health. All I know is it takes longer. They take longer. Not by much, but they do take longer. It's great for one-on-one. -on -one. Infinite ammo, one-on-one, -on -one, not bad. Let's see if we can get a group of them real quick. A couple of five. A little bit more controlled than having 20 or 30 of them around me. Damn, this auto tracking is pretty great. And then we brain rot them. It's good, but it's not that good. Let's be real. The underbarrel, master key, shotgun, whatever you want to call it, is still much better. Luckily, we got a mimic. Oh, he's upstairs, I think. Luckily, we got a mimic. Mimics are the easier ones to kill. Oh, there he is. Easier to kill, not doing a boatload of damage to him. He is a bounty hunt, bounty hunt contract, though, so it's going to be a little bit... He's going to take a little longer. Well, let's see how the shotgun does with him. It's, oh, it's about the same. Oh! Damn. Almost got really lucky there just trying to murder me. Holy crap. Shotgun is not much more effective. We are only at pack one, though. It is a little bit more effective. Just a little. Oh, and we got a green aether tool. Lucky for us, my favorite thing that I unlock far too often. So the other question is, now that we have insta-kill... Oh, jeez, the textures. It is... 
not much faster than how it is normally. Interesting. Shotgun or the underbarrel chainsaw right now just not looking the greatest. Let's be real. Damn, my textures are freaking out. I don't like I, that's interesting. After that update that came out last night, my textures are not doing well. Get rid of you. Try not to get killed by these guys before I get the chance to pop the shotgun out. These guys are much harder to kill than zombies with it. Especially the ones with armor. What a surprise. Excuse me, Mr. Grunt. They take two or three hits compared to a zombie taking one. Maybe two if they're if you're unlucky. Shotgun. Slays. Of course, we knew it was going to. Who's, are you speaking Russian to me? All right, folks. I think that's all we're going to do. There is really no need for me to go and pack a punch level two of these because the shotgun's going to be stellar. They just are. And our chainsaw here is not going to be as good as I would like it to be. It's just not. I was hoping it would kill quicker. In multiplayer, it doesn't kill near fast enough. In zombies, it's too close quarters. Unless you have, like I just have the Shatter Blast ammo mod on it. It's going to it's gonna get you killed. They can still hit you. If you don't kill them immediately from a distance, they're going to hit you. Of course, that's how zombies always has been. Meleeing is not the easiest thing in zombies. It never has been. Probably never will be. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. I know I don't do Call of Duty videos too often, so if you guys like it, let me know, and I will do more of them. I enjoy Call of Duty a lot. I play it a lot, but uh, I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not good enough at it to make fun videos, usually.